you a psychic, but you still believe that demons are real because you had a bad experience? Now, there's a major difference between what is your subjective experience versus what is evidential. And if you do not know what that difference is, therefore, you should be seeking more continual developmental work. And if you don't know how to seek continual developmental work, please do a simple Google research of people in your area that have expertise in this or who are training other individuals either on Zoom or in person to identify what the differences are between your bias, your ego, your judgment, your creative mind, your imagination, and your projections because all of those things are going to affect your psychic abilities. It does not matter how skilled of a psychic you are if you haven't learned discernment. I joke around that I, I call those garage mediums. <laughs> I mean, I think that early on in your developmental work, at some point, you're all going to be a garage medium. I was definitely when I was a kid offering information and offering insight while still being somewhat affected by the way that your brain is already templated. When you are intuiting for someone else or having experiences that feel traumatic because things feel demonic or scary or nefarious, there is an extensive amount of shadow that you still have to work through. An extent, and that shadow might be trauma. That shadow might be doubt. That shadow might be fear. But there's an extensive amount of shadow to work through when it comes through the formulation of what you might deem as demonic. And here's the exciting thing about continual development. When you learn how to be in the transmutation process, going through the ego, that's part of the transmutation process, to go to extreme communications, consciousness does not communicate in demonic form. Consciousness can have a, like, like a foot inside of those emotions and feelings, but you have to understand once again that spirit and spirit consciousness, work, consciousness works multidimensionally which means you might get an affectation of something that feels a little bit scary or a little bit off. But then your job as a psychic, you said that you used to be a psychic, your job as a psychic is to know the differences of, I'm getting a moment or an energy that had these kinds of emotions, and now let's talk about where it's at now. If you are only stuck in receiving information and feelings and emotions that feel scary and nefarious, you've got work to do. And instead of thinking of this as an accusation, think of it as a charge as a really exciting charge to do more work, to get more skilled. So that way things shouldn't feel scary. Psychic work should not be scary. It should be an adventure. There are things that can happen that will startle you, that will spark curiosity, but it should all be an adventure.